What is up guys, welcome back to another player review, we are going to be looking at third in from Defoe, now I want to ask you guys, does he deserve an MLS All-Stars place or does he not, because it seems like he has been left out unless EA might include him on the bench, but seriously, not many fans vote for him surprisingly, so let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Now, to begin with, we have uh, third in from Defoe. And the biggest selling point has to be his shooting. It ha he has 91 shooting on his card stats. And I have to say, I definitely feel the upgrade. You will see at the start of this video, a disgusting shot. And Neuer could not save it. And he gets he gets a touch to it, but it still ends up in the back of the net. Neuer is the best keeper in this game. And he couldn't save this little guy's shot. But then again, he does have 91 shooting. Now, very good pace also. He is fast. And what makes him even faster is his size. Because he's short, that means he has awesome agility. And you will definitely feel that. He feels like a little Elton, to be honest with you guys. Well, a bigger Elton, I guess. Uh, very good dribbler as well. Had no problems dribbling with him. He has really good dribbling. And I think his agility helped him be a better dribbler. Very good finisher in the penalty area as well. Sometimes he's not exactly like amazingly reliable. But he does get you most of the goals in in the penalty area really good finesse shots as well i think everyone has really good finesse shots in uh, fifa it's just a matter of having good finesse shots and really amazing finesse shots so he has just good finesse shots just his shooting is just amazing for a little guy to generate that much power is completely insane he is also quite weak. I mean, don't expect him to bat it off with defenders. He's out of position as well. So um, this is something that I really hate about him. He's out, he's out of position a lot of the time. So for a striker, for counter-attacks, you won't find him there most of the time. And that is something I found uh, very annoying about the foe. Also, his heading. Since this guy is like five foot seven, I think, he's not going to win you any headers. He did not win me even one header. I crossed it numerous times. He just couldn't win me a header, guys. He's also got that 3-star weak foot and 3-star skills. And I have to say his weak foot is pretty much useless. I thought it's even worse than 3-star, to be honest with you guys. His left foot can't generate any power at all. And I found it very, very hard to score with his left foot. But a lot of the time, he is overall a really effective player in matches. You might want to drop him down to a centre-forward position because he is short and weak for a striker position. But that is up to you guys. He's fast enough. He's got good dribbling, very good finisher, decent finesse shots, and he he has just that powerful shot on him for a little guy is just so awesome, and people would not expect that unless they know who the foe is. But overall, I found him really effective in matches, can cause problems in the penalty area, and that awesome agility make him really, really hard to guess which way he's going because of how fast he can turn. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Make sure you drop down in the comment section below what you would like me, who would you would you you like me to review next and also long shot experiment will be coming tomorrow for those waiting for it so hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day